Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. Just as I promised you in my last video, I returned back to the ladies' home who asked my help. If you haven't seen the last video when I cleaned her living room, I will share the link in the description. Because you all missed a longer video and a little bit detailed video, I really hope this video will make you happy and satisfied. I think this is the job where I can explain you a little bit more if you have the same situation like many many stuff in your room. I hope this video will help you how to start and how you continue. Okay, so now you're looking at my video and I'm asking you, what do you think? What is the first step? If you say clothes, you are correct, because when we look around in this room, what we see at the first time, many, many clothes. So the good answer is clothes. Because we see many, many clothes, this is the first step where we're gonna start. Um, I will collect all the clothes together and I will give that to the owner. The owner has to go through on the clothes while I'm cleaning the bedroom and decide what is yes, what is no, and what is go for donation. People also used to ask me how to decide about the clothes like yes and no. So, clothes what you're wearing often, of course, yes. Clothes what is waiting for something. I'm gonna wear when I'm going to the garden, but not right now because... Mm, or, oh, I'm waiting for my cousin's gonna have a wife. Um, that's, that dress is gonna be good then, but actually it's not fitting on me because, you know, I have to lose some weight. No, those clothes are a big no. When you want to change your life and you want um declutter your your life then you have to say no for many many stuff even if it's painful because you want to keep it you don't need that because when you're looking around in your house and it's a mess you have to reduce the amount of your stuff even the clothes In this case, the owner made a very, very good job because while I was, you know, uh, decluttering her room, she was sitting down and she went through on the clothes and she made um, a groups like this is t-shirt, this is sweaters, this is have to go to the laundry, this is clean already. So she really, really organized them well. Probably you asking why I'm doing this, like when I'm cleaning a house, why I just give to the owner and I give them, a, you know, I used to call like a homework. And the reason is because they have to learn how to keep up the conditions. So usually I used to visit a house once or two times and when I'm done, I'm not going to visit them again because the reason why I'm helping them because I also want to teach them. You know, I want that to, after I clean up in their house, the house is clean, so they have to be able to keep up those conditions. And this is a very good time when I'm there and I'm explaining to them everything and I give advices to teach them how to do it. So they also have to work. They also have to do something for themselves, you know, because this is how they feel like it's a hard job, but something what they learn and they can use in the future.
What is coming now is the hardest part in my job. Start to go through on the beans, baskets and bags. If you have a same house, probably you will be laughing now because think about it. Think about the bags and the beans in your home and try to figure it out how many things you put in those bags and beans. A lot. A lot of different things. Toys, candles, body stuff charger very very old remote you don't even know where is the tv anymore but you kept the remote right yes you did as you see she also have many many papers in this room and that's not garbage because the owner also have to go through on the papers probably it's very very old letters from insurance, car insurance, you know, health insurance or um, very old papers from your son's or daughter's school but you want to keep for some reason. I can't go through on the papers because I don't know what you need. I don't know what the owners need. So I have to keep all the papers. What can I do in this case? I just use a bin or a bag or something and I put all the papers together. This is how I can organize for them a little bit and make them, you know, make their job a little bit easier because you can find papers everywhere in the room, but it's very easy to go through when it's everything on the same space, right? Not space, place. I'm sorry. So how to start when you go through on the beans and the bags with everything? You have to make groups. So the first thing, probably you're going to find a lot of electronic stuff. You already can decide if you want to keep it or not. Because as I told you, um, I used to find very, very old cables and removed for, for stuff, but they don't have any more. So why we keep that? It's no reason to keep it because we're not going to use it. We didn't miss for a long, long years. So why we think we're going to, you know, miss in the future? If you don't need it, if it's not compatibility with anything, then it's garbage. You know, just don't keep it. And all the things what you want to keep, like old phones with, with old photos, put in the same box. Charger, put in the same box for temporary. And after when you're done with everything, you can go through on the boxes again and, you know, you can organize them more. Or toys also you can decide like does my kid play with this toy or not really if it's not really or it's broken or it's not really important then not you know it's not a memories or something you also can throw them away and you can do with all the stuffs so something what is used and you really you really not necessary in your life just throw them away or put in the box if you want to keep it. Let me tell you something else what is very, very often. So for example, for the owner, her mom, it died and she kept some stuff from her stuff that she doesn't really need it um it was like old makeups or um old clothes and she really doesn't need that but for some reason people are feel guilty feel so bad when they decide to throw out someone's stuff who is not here anymore and i totally understand because it's a person who you loved or a person who you not really love, but it's a family members and you feel so bad when you 
have to throw away because you feel you throw away all the memories. This is not true. You can keep little things, but you can, you know, it's it's help you to keep up the memory, but you don't need their old stuff in your home. You don't need it. Maybe you think this part is pretty long and you don't want to see it because I'm wasting your time but some people really want to see it because they have a same condition in the house and I want to to show them it's a hard job and how long is to go through on everything but it's very very necessary it's probably scary but you don't have to do this under one day so that's your home you have time just take one bean and sit down and start to you know select the stuff from there and i really hope this video is helpful for you and this is the reason why I show a little bit longer because I really want you to start your house and change your life.
someone just asked me in the comment like how i'm doing how i have a lot of energy and motivation to wake up in the morning and start these houses and i don't know guys i think like this is an art i'm an artist i really want to see the room under the mess like i know under the mess it's a very pretty home and i just have to clean and to know that i will change the owner's life and the owners can get a little hope again this is what it gives me motivation and energy And the other question is my husband, like how he does, he knows I'm gonna stay away from the family for the weekend, you know, and let me tell you, I'm not gonna lie. It happened, we had some problems with this when he was very, very tired because he had a very hard job on the, on the weekdays, you know, and he just wanted to take some rest and he had to woke up at around 7 a.m. He was a little bit mad, but my husband knows me and he understands me so he never say no and i told him like give me a little time and believe me we can do this together because i know he wants to work with me he also wants to enjoy this job and you know he also wants to help for people especially family with little kids and sometimes it was hard but he knows why we do this so it's easier for him it's easier for me we want to give something for the world you know we don't want just just to use everything from the world like i don't know how to how to explain this but we want to be more a little bit than just the regular people we want to do something for for families for kids i told you probably in my video we also when we're gonna make enough money with the channel i want to go to the children's hospital and ask some parents like who needs help with the bill or he wants to help with little painting job or you know change the furniture or you know i already talked about that like i got um from companies already a vacuum and more companies start to search me because they want a little commercial you know and they give me a uh, free items um and i can give these free items for families so how a wonderful thing like they don't have um vacuum cleaner but i'm just able to give them and all these little things makes me happy makes me happy and he knows this it makes me happy and he's happy if i'm happy
this lady literally had a lot of lot of jewels in her house and it was very hard because i had to use at least four or five little beans to put them away it was a lot You can see I'm not really going so crazy in this job. I didn't clean out the closet or the drawers because um, she has to do that. As you see, um, it's a very, very hard to clean at least that what is front of the eyes. It's a very overwhelming, even for me, because for me, I have to, I don't know the owner's stuff. I don't know what they have. So I have to check every little envelope because I told you and I show you in my videos, sometimes I find an envelope and I think it's empty, but it's not empty because they just put some dollar in the envelope or um i have to check every little boxes every little papers um and that's a very hard job for my brain i don't have time to do everything under one day and i really want to see that the owner also do something for the situation and start to clean up i gave the first push and they have to be able to continue On this table she has many many old makeups so I had to go through on the makeups and I had to check if what which one is good and which one is not good for example I find an eye pencil and it was still in a good condition I'm not gonna throw it out if it's dry or melted of course it's our question it's it's a garbage and it was same with um, with the lipstick some lipstick was expensive you know and it was still in a good condition probably she just have a use for for a year but it was still good you know i didn't want to throw that out her mom also has some stuff here you know a fake hair or an old makeup and everything just went to the garbage because she doesn't need that she doesn't need to keep those As you see, this room was very, very dusty. The owner didn't move the, the things away for a long time. Let me tell you something interesting because probably you don't know um, because you never lived in this condition or what I used to show in my videos. So probably it's interesting for you like someone can clean up and you asking like how is that possible so it's so normal I'm just doing the dishes I'm throwing away the garbage I'm not keeping stuff and I don't need it anymore. But these people's brain it works different um, sometimes they don't see the progress like how to start how to keep up the condition and they have to learn this it's same when you want to start a diet you say oh it's easy because you just eat less and this is not really working because you're gonna get hungry and after a week probably you're gonna give up and the reason why you do this because you don't know how to do because you never learn
Some of my clients never seen a clean house. They never lived in a clean house because many, many clients told me like, oh, my mom was the same. Like she was a hoarder. She, our house was always messy because she didn't know how to clean up. So after when they come out from this family, they don't know how to make a clean house because nobody teach them. Or there is the other side when my clients tell me their mom was um, very, very clean person. The mom has OCD and everything has to be very, very shiny and clean. And you know, these people, that's another side when the people is not letting out the control from their hands. So they are always very frustrated and they always cleaning and they not really teaching the family members how to clean but they always have um of issues and and arguing because the family members is not that clean like the ocd person so their mom never ever teach them how to clean but they always had an arguing and they getting frustrating and when they getting do it and they have their own house they don't know how to do so sometimes they not inviting the mom in their house because the house is very, very messy. The mom has OCD and they don't want to be judged. Both the way is very, very sad when the mom has the same issues like hoarding issues or when the mom is too clean and they have maniac for cleaning and not really explain how to how to do this I used to trust in the people who's asking my help and I'm cleaning their house. Some people say, oh, they're gonna go back to the same condition and probably it's possible. So I'm, I'm not gonna say that they're not gonna turn back or um, all the people can keep up this condition what I made. But with my videos, with books, um, with advices, they can learn how to do it. Cleaning schedule can make our life um, a little easier if you put on the fridge like Monday, you know, you're doing the vacuum, Tuesday, you're cleaning the bathroom, um, Wednesday, you're cleaning the kitchen and then you know what the next step and what you have to do. And yes, guys, I don't say that it's easy because if you had a problem before with the cleaning, 
it's possible sometimes you're gonna feel like oh i don't want to do or oh the bathroom is not really messy and then in that point you have to be strong and you have to remember what you're gonna miss probably it's not a big problem if you don't clean you know the bathroom on, on wednesday what the schedule say but on the next week you really have to do it and it's gonna be harder because it's gonna be more messy you have to learn the progress like every night i'm doing my dishes and in the morning i'm not gonna wake up with the full sink or every night i'm throwing out the garbage every night i start to collect garbage from my house every night we start to put together um sorry every night we start to put away the toys with the kids so they also can learn and this is hard guys probably you need a couple of months or a year and you know just make the same progress every day every week it's a long time but it worth it Of course, hoarding disorder is something else that need um, a therapy for sure. Or every people who has a depression need someone who can help them. So therapy is very, very important. In my case, in my situation, the therapy didn't help me. Medicines didn't help me because my problem was in my relationship. So it's very, very your depression your down mood is very um depends on the situation what you leave um my depression was because i had a very very bad relationship and i wasn't happy um my boyfriend had alcohol problems he was addictive of alcohol and that was very very frustrating in the same time um he was chasing other girls and in that time when I was 20 years old at something I wasn't enough strong so I feel so bad when he was watching another woman I feel I'm not enough so this is what made me depressive you know and I went to the therapy and I was complaining I was so depressed in a depressed mood and uh, she gave me some medicine but that was a situation what I had to fix by myself because the therapist and the medicine won't fix that. After I broke up with him, I put down all the medicines and I was much, much better. You know, so sometimes we have to step a very, very hard step. If we are not comfortable in our life, but we know we can change, we are able to change. For example, you don't like your job. Try to find a way how you can find another job or how you can start to learn new things. It's painful, it's hard, but it's necessary. I didn't want a faster video. I wanted to show you um, how I'm going through on every you know box and and bags because if you have a same condition in your house it's very important to see how it really works so if I just speed up my video and I cut out all the important part how I really doing that's not really helpful for you so I hope you can use this video this video can helpful for you and when you cleaning up your house you just turn on this video you see the progress and you can start your house i also thinking about a live stream when i can sit down you can come you can ask me and i can give you an answer but right 
I never have time to sit down and I don't know yet what is the a good um, time when most of the people can come in my live stream and talk a little bit about my job or need advice or tip but in the future I have a plan to do this. Oh, this is such a good feeling when I'm almost done and already can see the floor. It was many, many uh, big pieces of garbage on the floor, so first time before I used the vacuum and decided to sweep up all of them. I also wanted to clean down the dust a little bit, so it was... Um, you know do the sweeping up before i'm doing dusting then first doing the dusting and after i'm sweeping up and all the dust is gonna just go back to the you know the surface And finally, it's time to show you the new vacuum cleaner that I just gave to the family. Today I'm testing Ritki vacuum cleaner. Let's check what including with the product. Two in one brush. Pet hair removal brushes. 
crevice nozzle, extra filter, wall holder and instruction book. This vacuum cleaner has three power modes. And now it's time to test this vacuum cleaner. This vacuum cleaner is very light and very easy to move. I also want to tell you, with this cooperation, I was able to give this vacuum cleaner for the owner for free. Look at this guys, it's so easy and it fits perfectly under the couch. I really love it. The light on the front is very helpful because you can see every little piece of dust. Gravis Nazo is perfect for crouch or corners. I definitely like this vacuum, it's very easy to move, very handleable, not heavy and it, I think it works well, it works amazing, it's, it's pretty strong. Oh, and this is my favorite part. Do you remember what I told you? Um, this tool is perfect for corners. I love it. And now it's time to see the result, what I made under eight hours. I hope you enjoyed this organizing video and if you like my videos please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!